seriously don't want to deal with this crap right now. Okay, so I, okay, so I went over 30 seconds, so maybe it was just some goof up, I don't know. <clears throat> All right. I have it a bit of a rocky start. Hopefully there's no interruptions or any of that shit. Hey, Birch, how are you doing? Also help if I um, it's an alien resurrection. Since when was there a game of alien resurrection? Is there a never mind. I'm not gonna bother with that. That's basically what Metroid Fusion is. You know what? I can't argue with that, actually. Let me get this microphone up close. You know what? I can't actually uh, argue with that. It's on a ship, and there's weird cloning crap or unusual experimentation of creatures, and they have to get off the vessel. Or, at the very least, that's what we would know on the surface. Um... Yeah, I can kind of see that. Except Metroid Fusion was better than Alien Resurrection. Super Metroid, as well as the other entries, are kind of like just aliens where you had to evacuate from a planet. The only difference is is that you don't take care of Mother Brain on a vessel. You uh, you take care of Mother Brain first, and then you evacuate the planet. Whereas in you know Aliens, you have to escape the planet, and then uh, Ripley has to take on. Um, uh, the, 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 the queen, the alien queen, xenomorph queen. I, my, my knowledge on the alien franchise is very minimal. Also, this will be a shocker. I have not seen alien three. I've seen the first alien. I've seen aliens. That movie was awesome. Uh, alien resurrection. It hasn't aged well. Did I finish, um, super Metroid? Yes, I did. Um, I actually did it like all in one night. It was a it was it was a fun stream. <clears throat> um, currently setting up a couple of things, and hopefully I should be set to go. Let me go ahead and just lower this for a bit. Ah, come on. Oh, it would also help if I you know advertise the link and shit. Not that it matters, but I, I still feel as though it's important. So, just spreading it out. Come on. No. 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 Boom. And I think that's all of them. Let's see. Did you have fun during the 4th of July? Yes, I did. You know, enjoyed spending my time with the family. Um, we didn't do any fireworks, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it's really not that big of a deal, you know. Um, I still, um, you know, spend time, you know, being with my brother and my parents and everything. Um, I do wish that I would light fireworks up, um, but it is what it is. Not the end of the world. 
Hopefully next time when I have much better money, I can actually, you know, purchase some fireworks. Because I found out that at those small booths that are all over the, um, all over town, um, when they, when you go to purchase fireworks, like, like, I don't know, spending like, I don't know, it costs about like 50 bucks for a pack of fireworks. It's fucking ridiculous. Let's see. Go watch fireworks soon, but just pop in then real quick to say... Go to dance and hashtag Lingo Kingo. Let's see. Opinion. Xenomorphs or Predators? Which is better? Predators. Because they actually have a level of sportsmanship, whereas Xenomorphs are just like mindless killing freaks. They're disgusting. Not to mention their blood is fucking acid. It's... Ugh. I mean, the whole... The whole purpose of a xenomorph is supposed to be a, like, it's supposed to be a horrified um, image of a sexual innuendo, and ugh. I'll just leave it at that. Yes, fellow Predator fan. Oh, I just realized I've got two screens uh, hosting at the same time, but season, thank you for hosting. Do I not have the link on my... Damn it. No. Come on. Don't you fucking lag on me. Hello. Don't do this to me right now. I fucking hate my laptop. I mean, I shouldn't be pissed at it, but I am. I gotta take care of something real quick. All right, come on. Come on. D. Birch, thank you for hosting. All right. And I think last but not least. The lag is being a butt. Wait, there's a lag? I'm not even doing anything. Derek the Brony, thank you for uh, hosting. What's it like living with Thespio and Aeon? Um, I'm not going to get into those kind of details. Um... Zao Moosmash Moosmash I, I, Sorry if I mispronounce her name uh, Thank you for hosting <sighs> Wow, I haven't seen Season in forever Maybe it's because I I'm not going to finish reading that um, If you were to Reborn and Made to live in any decade Between the 1900s and the 1990s Which decade would you pick? To tell you the truth, I don't know how to answer that. Oh, it's storming on Jesse's end. That explains a lot. My mic is a little low. Hang on, let me try to fix that. Okay, how do I sound now? Maybe I was a little too distant from the mic. I don't know. Um, let me just go ahead and go with that, and I got to see the, uh, much better. <laughs> okay, I need to put myself on Do Not Disturb with Skype. Uh, for the record, I have Skype open on uh, my laptop. 
it was it's so that way like if I have to like have to spread links around on Skype I do it over there because if I have it active on here it's gonna you know you know the CPU and shit for reference sake the first part of my name is pronounced Shamal okay uh, Derek the Brony thank you for the 25 bits of a rainbow unicorn also inserting unicorn coins into arcade cabinet okay then all right, season. Catch you later. Am I on Do Not Disturb? Yeah, I just checked. And I go to check once again. What did the kosher guys say? Um, maybe other Kirins are turning up a stop. I feel dirty. I should go wash my hands. I'll be back in just a second. Sorry, friend of the mic. Didn't mean to do that. And I return. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to retrace my thoughts because I got up and I was away and blah, 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 blah. You know, stuff like that. Um, I really should be getting a call started. Oh, wait, that's right. I got to, um, how long have I been streaming now? 12 minutes in. Eh. This is a pretty short, um, pretty short pre-show. There really wasn't much of a conversation. Um... Right, it would also help if I had. Let's see, if Lightning Bliss shows up here today, I'll call her the Pokemon Blissy just for laughs. That she probably doesn't care. I mean, it was funny at first, but she's probably used to it. Uh, yeah, Lightning Bliss is incredibly busy. There's a good chance that she may, that she may not be able to join the call. So, and you know as much as i enjoy having her around during the stream because she and solar are absolutely hilarious to have around um i can't always expect them to um to drop by you know they got things to do on their end especially bliss she's a very very busy person both her and keyframe are very uh very busy bees and that's probably the only occasion where i would say b appropriately because, you know, me and fucking bees in games. Busy Blissy. I think that's a better term instead of Blissy is busy. Hashtag Busy Blissy. It just rolls off your tongue. Busy Blissy. Oh, the question guy, shut up. Okay, busy Blissy. Yeah, no, it, it's starting to, um, <laughs> it's starting to uh, pick up. Busy Blissy, busy Blissy, another hashtag busy Blissy. <laughs> Wheel of Steel, please don't put B on there. All right. Uh, 
I noticed her last stream with bees in the Back to the Future game that you hate bees. Oh, uh, Xiaomu Smash. I, I hope I'm getting that right. Um, no, okay, so to put in better context, it's not just Back to the Future, uh, but also Earthworm Jim, A Link to the Past, and I think Gunstar Heroes. Okay, Gunstar Heroes I didn't have an issue with. I just mentioned it. Um, and, you know, there's fucking Super Metroid and people were making bee puns. And Ellie explained something that was not needed to be talked about, but she did it anyway. Because, you know, she's fucking Ellie. Okay, okay, so Jamu Smash. Alright. Jamu Smash. Okay, that sounds very close to the, the freaking Let Me Smash joke. Let me smash. Becky, let me smash. <laughs> I just made people cringe. It led me to being a running joke. Yes, because of the frickin' booty. The Kieran booty. <laughs> Um, we got a call started. No, it's not. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, um. Oh, that's right. Because every time the the freaking call starts, I have to keep the window active because you know the call lags out for whatever fucking reason. By the way, Fox, do you plan to go back to Yellow? Yes, actually. Um, after BronyCon. In fact, I should give um, I should give out this information. Um, well, I should give the announcement. That's what I mean. Uh, what was it going to be? I'm trying to retrace my thoughts. Um, come on, Brett. Think, think, think. Okay, so, yeah. Today, I'm streaming Metroid Fusion. Um, I don't, I don't expect to finish it today. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. Um, but throughout July, that's going to be the last game I'm going to be playing until... Well, after that, um, I'm going to be taking a short break. As, um, and then I have to get ready for BronyCon. After, um, after, uh, after I'm done with BronyCon, I'm going to be going right back to doing Pokemon Yellow. And fingers crossed, I get that game done and out of the way. And hopefully around that time, I should be breaking 700 subscribers on my second channel and by that point um i have to do a test run and make sure that freedom planet is running accordingly well so that way you know i can fulfill the milestone because it used to run well before um there's a little bit of a challenge when it comes to streaming uh steam games um Hopefully there won't be too much CPU. It would be nice to have a call going. Actually, one of the things that I noticed uh, with Steam is that there's a broadcast sharing where other players are invited to actually watch the gameplay and they get to see it up front. And I think that can work extraordinarily well, you know, compared to, you know, working with an emulator because for some reason, emulators, they're very, very restricted and there's like a few seconds of a delay whenever I'm streaming and... You know, I think that's the result of how much uh, data is being processed through their servers across the U.S. And, eh, see, I'll be honest, I haven't really seen much of your run on the yellow. Uh, the furthest I've got to, I got the Saffron badge. Um, I think I'm probably halfway in the game. Or maybe I'm more than halfway in the game. I'll tell you this much. I went through the uh, underground hangar where Team Rocket was. And I was also in that really tall-ass building. I, mean, I forgot what it was. It was on uh, Saffron City. And it was said that was the longest part of the game. And I was able to get through that. My memory is a little vague right now. Um, so I only have about two gems left. Um, I have Fuja City, Cinnabar Island, and I'm probably missing one in between. Um, I did get Cel uh, Badge in Celadon City. Okay, let me try to retrack everything. Because my knowledge with Pokemon is like, it's all over the place. Um, I got the Boulder Badge, the, uh, Cascade Badge, the Thunder Badge, I think it's called. 
Uh, Celadon City, I got a badge there, and Saffron City, so that's five badges. So the ones that are remaining are Fuchsia City, Cinnabar Island, and uh, Viridian City, where I go to take on Giovanni. So yeah, that's three badges that I have left. You would need to go to Viridian City for the final badge. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's Giovanni. Um, um, Fuyoko... I hope I'm saying it right. Fuyoko Yuki, um, I already went to Saffron City and got the Marsh Badge. I defeated Sabrina. Very luckily. Like, holy shit biscuit, man. <laughs> Why do I keep saying shit biscuit? <sighs> Whatever. Um, there's a part where I think I already took care of it. I, um, I had the Pokey Flute, and... Uh, I was able to get past, um, maybe I woke up Snorlax, maybe not, I don't know. All I know is that I got the Pokey Flute from Lavender Town. Because Shit Biscuit is funny to say. Oh yeah, no, being creative with my vocabulary can be quite hilarious. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do Saffron City until after Koga? Hmm, you got this golden, but before you go on Victory Road, buy a shit ton of Ultra Balls. Okay, I will keep that noted, Desert Samurai. Actually, Fox, if you have a description of your final team roster, like me to do you a group shot for the finale of the playthrough. Um, I guess? Uh, for Fuchsia City, I have yet to go to, um, I have yet to go to that one. I'm guessing uh, it's a, you, uh, I wouldn't do Saffron until after Koga. Well, Fuyoko, I actually I already took care of Sabrina, very luckily. Like, I, I was just mentioning that not too long ago. Um, I'm kind of going in circles here with, you know, the descriptions that I have. Um, I better go ahead and get started on... Um, I better get started on what's it called, uh, Metroid Fusion. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the... Uh, in uh, the uh, next intermission. God, that's all what this was. <laughs> that's hilarious. So uh, I'll catch you then. So... <clears throat>